Hi Mill Creek kids and Mill Creek family, both young and old. Um, I wanted to do another Christmas story, a uh, little lesson before Christmas. And so um, one of the um, things that touches my heart most about the Christmas story um, is the birth of the baby Jesus and where that um, all happened in the stable. And so we've moved out to our barn tonight um, so that we can kind of get the um, idea of, of how that all might have felt. And um, I want to talk a little bit about the Christmas story. And uh, one little part of the Christmas story that maybe most people don't even pay attention to, but because I'm an OB nurse and take care of new moms and babies, it's one thing that kind of struck a chord with me uh, in the story um, about Jesus' birth and, and Mary's taking care of the newborn baby. And so um, I'm going to talk a little bit about that part of the Christmas story. If you remember uh, from the book of Luke in the New Testament, which tells about the birth of Jesus, um, the shepherds were out on the hillsides taking care of their sheep uh, in the, at the nighttime, and um, all of a sudden there was a bright light, and the angels appeared to them and um, said that uh, they were going to find this baby um, in Bethlehem and to follow the star, and they would find the baby uh, wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And so the four little words there that uh, kind of struck a chord were, with me were wrapped in swaddling clothes. Now, some of the texts might call it swaddling cloths. And so we're going to talk a little bit about that tonight, swaddling clothes and what that means. Um, swaddling cloths or swaddling clothes at the time were wraps of maybe rags around a newborn that you would wrap them in and wrap them tightly. And, um, you know, we still swaddle babies in the newborn nursery. Um, most of our newborn nurses know how to wrap their babies pretty tight to keep them warm. And the reason that they wrap babies in swaddling, in the swaddling fashion, is that because when babies are inside of their mommies, it's very tight in there and it's dark and it's warm and babies are comfortable inside of there. But then when they're born, they come out to a world that is very loud, uh, maybe very bright, and uh, may be very cold to them. And babies startle very easily and they fuss and they cry because they're not used to that. They've been used to being tucked away and being very warm and very tight inside of their moms. So as nurses, when we work in the nursery, we do what we call swaddling with the babies. And basically what that is, is we take our blankets, which we use receiving blankets now, and we wrap those babies very snugly and very tight so that it, their arms can't move around a lot and they're kind of confined and they're very nice and warm and so they're they're tucked up very very tightly like this and so we do what's called swaddling to make the babies more calm and they sleep better when they're swaddled and they're they're bundled up really tight because they're warm and they're kind of like they were inside of their moms and so that's what it means to be swaddled or swaddling a baby so when we read in the story of Christ's birth that Mary wrapped the baby in swaddling clothes that just tells us that Mary was a really good mother and she knew how to take care of baby Jesus and she brought those clothes with her as she traveled but like I said the clothes that she used are not like the clothes that we would see in a baby today they were they were basically probably rags that she had that she brought in her bag with her when they were traveling to Bethlehem and she was riding on her donkey and so those clothes were very very plain and very um, they may have been strips of cloth that she wrapped around baby Jesus basically to do the same thing to keep the baby warm and to keep him snug and so that he would relax and he would sleep better and we so we see that swaddling clothes are mentioned um, just because Mary wanted to keep the baby safe and keep the baby warm and so I think it's really important that we um, think about that Mary wrapped up her baby um, to keep that baby safe safe and warm. And um, 
you know, because Jesus was the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, you would think about a king coming to earth and being wrapped probably in uh, material of gold or silk or something very expensive. But here was baby Jesus, who was the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, and he was basically wrapped in rags and, and you know, some kind of a cloth that uh, Mary had with her. He wasn't wrapped in what we would think of as a king being wrapped in. Um, so, but Mary wrapped that baby just as she, just to keep that baby very nice and warm. You know, um, every year at Christmas, when we get ready to open presents, um, there may be lots of gifts under the tree and they're wrapped in beautiful paper and lots of ribbon and they're so pretty with their gold colors and red colors and everything looks so very, very beautiful. And so on Christmas Day when you come and you see all the gifts and you start opening them, you know, it's so much fun because they're so pretty to uh, um, unwrap. But imagine if you got um, wrapped, if you got presents on under the tree and there was one gift that maybe looked like this. It was just wrapped in plain old brown paper and uh, just a string to tie it up. And you had all of these other gifts that are wrapped in beautiful paper and beautiful ribbon. And, and you would see this gift and maybe think, oh, I don't want that gift. It's not very pretty. Um, and so you might not even choose to unwrap it right away. You might just kind of kind of push it under the tree and not even unwrap it. But you know, this gift might hold the most expensive thing in the world. And because of the wrapping paper, it's kind of hidden that. So, um, you know, a lot of times when um, we think about presents um, and you think about them being wrapped in very pretty paper and it may not contain anything fun at all. So, um, but sometimes you have a gift like this and you might think, oh, I don't want to unwrap that because it doesn't, it's not wrapped very pretty. I want you to think about that. Um, you know, the greatest gift that we ever received in the world was the gift that God sent us when he sent his son, baby Jesus, to us. And that baby was wrapped in very plain clothes, but it was the greatest gift that we've ever received. And so when you looked at thing, when you look at things, um, you have to think about that, that uh, sometimes the most expensive and most wonderful and greatest things that we ever have are not really wrapped in the most beautiful paper. Sometimes they come very plain wrapped and that's okay because um, those things are the very best things that we can get. Just like baby Jesus was the very best gift that God could ever have given us and baby Jesus was wrapped in very plain clothes. Um, I hope you had a good time putting together your your um, craft this week. I made one here, and I hope yours kind of looks like this too. Uh, the little foam nativity set, which shows Mary and and uh, Joseph and baby Jesus and and the star. Um, and so this is what it should have looked like when you finished it up. Uh, and you can hang it on the tree, put the little gold cord through, and put it hanging on the tree. They all just kind of stick on there, and so. Uh, this is what it should look like when you got finished with it. So I hope you enjoyed your little craft. Um, it was kind of fun to put together. Um, I want to say a prayer. And then um, I'm going to sing um, Away in a Manger. And I want you to think about the greatest gift that we ever received, that gift of baby Jesus lying in a manger. And um, how important it is for us at this time of year to remember that and how important that gift is to us rather than the gifts that we sometimes um, get on Christmas morning. The gift of baby Jesus was the greatest gift that we could have ever received. So let's bow our heads and we're going to say a little prayer and, um, and then we'll finish up with a way in a manger. Dear Father, we just thank you so much of the gift that you gave us um, so many years ago. That gift of baby Jesus and, and how important he was in our lives and, and how he grew to be such a wonderful um, teacher and how he grew to be such a great savior for us. And, and then how he died and, and saved us from all of her, our sins by dying on the cross. And we just can't thank you, Lord, enough for the gift that you sent to us. 
And this week, um, on Christmas Day, as we're unwrapping our beautiful presents, we just ask, Lord, that you help us to remember um, the greatest gift that you've ever given to us. And, and we just thank you again, Lord, for, for everything you do for us and, and for what you did for us when you sent him to be our Savior. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head. The stars in the sky look down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. Merry Christmas, Mill Creek, and we'll see you in the new year.